Hi guys and welcome to part two of September's submission. Another load of submits here. I think we've got so many we're actually going to have to do a part three, which is pretty mad. Anyway, uh, let's get on to the first submitter. Today we're going to start off with Gavin. Uh, Gavin has been sending with us for a few months now and we haven't put his Instagram in. Um, so we will rectify that right now. It should be popping up. So please do go and give that a follow because he's going to have these return very soon, hopefully. Uh, it's got a beautiful Espeon GX there. The Fisherman from Shiny Vault as well. Jesse and James. Loads of hidden fates, uh, as we kind of expected. Unbroken Bonds now in Muck and Alone Muck. And back to Shiny Vault we go with the article. And I absolutely love this sizzle. Um, the contrast of colours there is absolutely epic. Tapu Bulu GX with a gold card. Can't go wrong with that. More Jesse and James. So many of those, Gavin. Uh, Gengar and Mimikyu as well. Really cool card. I really like the trio as well. Actually, it's really nice when they're put together. Not ever going to go wrong with a Groudon on this channel. This is the Team Magma's Groudon EX one I know well. Uh, one of my favourites, actually. Definitely in my top five for artworks. Uh, Mewtwo and Mew GX. Now onto the Japanese cards. Uh, brand new cards from SM12, for instance. A really nice new artwork set. Uh, this is just phenomenal from uh, Dream League, I believe. Uh, then SM12 again. I think this will be the first lot of SM12 we've had go out so far. Um... Sorry about that, guys. Uh, and then the Psyduck Munch card. Well, we all know that one well. Look at that with the trio there. Stunning, stunning card. It's going to be really cool to see those in English, we hope. Um, and then LT Surge fixing up Magnemite for some reason. And then Erica and Vileplume just having a nice nap. Thank you very much, Gavin. And again, guys, please do go and give that Instagram a follow. Kevin is our next submitter, uh, so we're going to start off with this Ivy Pikachu, this is Portuguese um, World Championships Pikachu, I absolutely love the symbol down there, the Black Star promo, beautiful card, uh, and then this one as well, I can't remember which one this is exactly, uh, what language, absolutely beautiful. Uh, another one, again, I'm not going to lie, I prefer the other two, but this Mew is stunning, XY 110. Had a few of these actually sent in by someone else, so I don't know why that is. Obviously, these have come onto the market somehow. Uh, Pikachu EX, very aggressive Pikachu there, coming flying through the card. And then you've got the playful Pikachu there. Very, very uh, cool artwork. Pikachu just chilling, the reverse foil from... Crimson Invasion, I believe. Um, and then we got the Champions Festival. Again, I think you're obviously quite a Pikachu fan there. The World Championship 2017. Uh, you've got the Adidas Football Promo Pikachu. Really is one of my favourites. The Pikachu GX. Uh, like a mix of... you got Ash as well there in the background, which is pretty cool. Don't know if that picks up. Um, and then you've got Red Pikachu as well. Always going to see these probably for two years in submission videos, so get used to them. Anyway, Kevin, thank you very much for your submission. Just the one card now from Sony, and what a card it is. It is the reverse Charizard from EX Crystal Guardians. Um, I do have the Holofoil version of this in PSA 10, but I do not have the reverse. Uh, so quite jealous of you. This is quite minty as well, uh, so we'll see how it does, Sonic. Uh, thanks for using Grady Gem. Moving on to a new submitter now, that is Alan. Alan sent in some really cool cards, actually. Uh, Kangastan first edition from Jungle. The Koga's Ditto, which just looks like it's been splat onto the card there, doesn't it? Lieutenant Surge's Raichu, a favourite for always. Uh, Ferrozma and Buzzwall GX, really cool from Unbroken Bonds. And then you've got the Charizard Hollow Fall from Evolutions as well. Always going to be a favourite for collectors. Uh, thank you very much for sending these in, Alan, and hopefully you get the grade you desire. Chris is up next. Uh, some beautiful cards here. You've got the Mega Blastoise EX from Evolutions. Your Mewtwo GX from Sh Shiny Vault, the Charizard GX now from Hidden Fates. I don't know what he's firing at, obviously something that's higher and taller than him. And they're never going to go wrong with this. The Primal Groudon EX from Ancient Origins. Absolutely love this card. So aggressive in nature. The Charizard GX now, the Tin Promo. I think we've got a couple of these. We do. The Shiny Vault Lycanroc. And the Celebi and Venusaur. Mega Skeptar EX. That's pretty cool. Uh, don't, I haven't seen that one in a while. And then the Tapu Coco as well, obviously, from Shiny Vault. Uh, I think the gold cards are all stunning. I don't expect to see many more to come. Thank you very much for your submission.
Our next submitter is Cody, and Cody has sent in a very cool Basin Limited, Alakazam, and Blastoise, and the Charizard. Is there a Venusaur? No, but there is a Raichu. Is there a Venusaur? Yes, there is. So we have got those three from the Base Unlimited, all looking quite nice. Then you've got the Articuno Unlimited from Fossil, the Kabutops 2, Moltres uh, rising through the skies, and Zapdos. Um, this Zapdos has always got that holofoil. This one doesn't, though. Oh, that must be on the first edition, so this has the full holofoil. Very nice artwork indeed. Then you've got the CD promos, the Charizard, the Blastoise, and the Venusaur yet again. Then we end off with two Charizards. Why wouldn't we? The Reverse Foil Neo 2 promo, and then the Blange Charizard from Jim Japanese. Thank you very much for your submission. Hopefully you get the grade you want. Unique and special collectible now from Francesca. Uh, Francesca has sent in a Moltres Zapdos and Articuno GX. Not that special, you might think, but if you have a look on the back, very cool there, isn't it? Uh, that's, I think, off centre. Uh, massively so to the right and the bottom. Uh, but then it's really cool as well because even on this part of the card, it's got like an extra bit at the bottom. Uh, but yeah, really cool collectible and really looking forward to see how this does at PSA. We have got this amazing little toy that has come from Daniel. Thank you very much for the gift. It um, pretty much ruined 10 minutes of our day, to be honest with you. But anyway, let's get on to your cards. Uh, we do start off with Draco Malfoy. The Harry Potter cards now, they do seem to be even more popular now. Uh, the nearly headless Nick. Always moaning about how he's nearly headless. Uh, Nine Tails from CP6. The Starmy Break. I haven't seen a break card in a while, I must be honest. Uh, Slowbro EX. Mega Slowbro EX. Again, from CP6. Uh, Surfing Pikachu. Really cool, like iconic artwork. And then we go on to the brand new Japanese stuff, which we're absolutely loving here at Graded Gem. The Blastoise and the Piplup. Oh, and these are cool as well. Thank you very much for sending these in, Daniel. Uh, so you've got your Gasly and your Hortner, your Action Flips. Your Eevee and your Flare. That's a really cool artwork, Flareon, actually. Um, I'll actually do that for the benefit of you guys instead of the benefit of me. Uh, yeah, really cool Flareon there. And then the Pikachu and the Raichu. And these are from the Action Flips Premier Edition. Thanks very much for sending those in, Daniel. And especially for this. Back we are. Uh, we have Adam here. Adam has got the Blastoise from he sent in quite a few, actually, Adam, uh, for a first-time Samir. So thank you for trusting us with your collectibles. Uh, the Chansey from base. The Charizard as well. Iconic artwork, isn't it? Never going to get away from that, are you? Uh, the Gyarados from base. Really cool with the waves swirling around him. The Mashamp first edition. Again, it's just going to be one of those iconic cards forever. Uh, the Nine Tails looking really cool. Uh, Raichu. Too happy, in my opinion. Uh, Venusaur stomping about. Too grumpy, in my opinion. Zapdos right in the stars there. Uh, really nice artwork. Magneton, first edition fossil. Flareon now, so just the unlimited jungle version. Then we do a lot of evolutions, uh, I've noticed in this submission video. The Mega Venusaur evolutions. Uh, Charizard EX, maybe that will be the thumbnail. Zapdos from evolutions as well. Then we have Ferozma and Buzzwall GX from Unbroken Bonds. The alternative are Marshadow and Mashamp GX. Janine, Unbroken Bonds, throwing that log somewhere. Snorlax from Japanese... Snorlax, I think it's Snorlax. Snorlax from Japanese Jungle. Again, another uh, Zapdos, they've reprinted the artworks three times here. Japanese, base and uh, evolutions. Then you have got your Ancient Muse as well. You've got five of those going off, and you can never go wrong with them. Uh, so, yeah, Adam, thank you very much for your submission. Our next email always seems to know what to send in, and that is Cine Exini on Instagram. Definitely deserves more followers, because I tell you, it's always class content, and it's going to be this as well. This is a miscut alone Vulpix here. Uh, really amazing how you've got the white on the top. Obviously, it's just been cut wrongly uh, but it's a reverse foil as well which it makes it even more unique it's not just the normal common uh, this is from guardians rising uh, congratulations on finding a collectible like this i would love to have a ground on like it um, and then we do have a signed card as well i thought we'd do this as a special so this is a salamance winner card really cool pikachu sketch there as well that'll look even better when it comes back graded a load and volpix now I knew we'd be seeing those two cards in this submission from you, Cine. Absolutely knew it. Uh, and then we've got the Charizard GX from the Hidden Fates uh, tins. Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno GX, um, the thumbnail for our part one. 
And the really cool Pikachu there. Looks like he's cleaning something up. Vaporeon. Flareon. Look, that's really aggressive. I really like that. Mew. Gold Star. Japanese. Uh, Pokemon card Jim Promo. Now the Dragonair. Really strange uh, way stance for Dragonair to be in, just personally, anyway. Alone and Vulpix playing in the snow. Can hardly see it, to be on. Golosopod. Flygon. Really nice. Giratina and Garchomp. Giratina looks so much bigger than Garchomp there. Charizard and Reshiram, whoever's getting hit by that. Well, they're finished. Always love to see a Groudon, and this one is no exception. Can't wait to get my gem back from PSA. Thanks to Gifts, actually. Uh, Charizard GX as well. That's from the Family Card Game. Really love the blue in this Latias, I've got to say. I think it really makes the card pop. Um, as the same with this one, probably the full art might just win it a bit. Uh, Pikachu, and we got some like Slow King. We got quite a few Pokemon there in the background, which is really cool to see. Uh, Latios scoring the skies. Uh, another Pikachu promo. Mew looking very happy indeed from the tenth movie. Uh, we got more of these again. Uh, so Nathan also sent away the 10th Mumi collaboration. They must have come up on a Japanese auction site quite recently. You've got that weird, freaky-looking Deoxys. Lucario, Manaphy looking very playful. Uh, Giratina and Garchomp not looking like the best of friends there, looking like they're about to take each of us heads off. Cynthia, always going to be incredibly popular, that card from Ultra Shiny. There they are getting on in that artwork, though. They're both fighting the same person. Beautiful artwork, this, the coffin. Um, I've seen it quite a few times on Instagram. Uh, and yeah, for a coffin, it's not really the sort of effort you'd expect in an artwork, but it's got a really uh, artistic, uh, unique style. Uh, Lieutenant Surge, Surge cleaning up some Magnemites. Pikachu looking lovingly into Ash. Massive, weird card, this. It's almost got a 3D effect. It's like the person's in front of the Pokemon. Really cool. Uh, Piplup. I mean, I don't know whether he's about to do a respect or whether he's about to hit me. It doesn't look that intimidating, does he? Uh, Sneasel with the crossed arms. Uh, Torkoal chasing a person off. Surfing Pikachu. He looks very focused there, Pikachu. He's not happy. He's not sad. Just looks focused. Uh, Clefairy. Mewtwo. I don't know why he's using Tail Whip, but maybe to slow the other guy down. Very aggressive Alolan Ninetales. Less aggressive Alolan Ninetales. A very lost Alolan Vulpix. And then back on to the Dream Lake cards again with the Ancient Mew. I think this might be a bit... Oh, yes. So this is the 2019 promo. So it come out with the uh, Mewtwo card. I'm having to look out for this now. Nearly caught off guard the first one that came in. Uh, and then we've got some more Dream League cards. Steelix. That's really cool. I haven't seen that one yet. <laughs> it looks terrifying. Uh, Mimikyu. Can't remember that guy's name, but why is he in the Cowboy Wild West? And then these two are just chilling and having a nice conversation. Uh, Cine, as usual, big thanks, and again, another stunning submission, and I'm sure everyone watching the video appreciates seeing those cards. Our next submitter is Johan, and he also starts off with the ultra shiny Cynthia. Beautiful card. Pikachu and Zekrom are about to attack someone. Very cool, chill-out trainer card there. Uh, Slowpro and Psyduck. Slowpoke, sorry, not Slowbro. Come on, get it together. Having a bit of fun in the waves. Another trainer card. I doubt that's been graded before, to be honest. Uh, Salgalio and Laluna and Lily, I believe, chasing someone off uh, from Dream League. Torkoal again. More Dream League cards, actually. Uh, so Sneasel, Piplup. We have only just seen these cards. I maybe should have moved these about. Wishy Washy. I remembered it that time. Uh, the next trainer. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Erica and Vileplume. Remember the card we saw earlier with them resting? That's some sort of hyper-rare. 240 HP is a bit obscene, though, uh, for any Vileplume. Especially when Lalana and Salgalio and Reshiram uh, are only 270. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem very fair to me. Another surfing Pikachu, very focused. Uh, really nice trainer there. Charizard from the movie promo, I believe. I think I'm right in saying. Uh, Clefairy looking very happy and fun. Pikachu, this is almost the same as it is. Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite. Mimikyu, here he is again. Very intimidating Steelix. You two, obviously, Johan and Cine obviously had the same idea about what to ship in this month. Uh, doesn't mean they're any less outstanding. Uh, but more Dream League cards. That's really cool. 
that will probably fetch a pretty penny when it comes back graded PSA 10, which hopefully it will. But anyway, Johan, thank you very much for your submission. Our next submitter is Ryan. Uh, Pokeman Trader, if you want to go and give that Instagram a follow. Uh, got a last first edition from Base. Really cool. Don't see that too often come through the service. Energy Removal from Base. The Do Duo. Ratata. Kakuna. Computer Search. Look how old that computer is now. Uh, it really does show you the age of the cards as well. Uh, Metapod. Switch. I remember having like a million of these just on my bedroom floor. Now <laughs> people are grading them, how crazy. Uh, Moltres, a Black Star promo, the Articuno and the Zapdos, of course. And then this is outstanding. The Charizard GX from Burning Shadows. And then, yeah, um, so we think this one might be off-centre. Dragonite GX will we'll request it. Whether they give it, we'll have to wait and see. But anyway, Ryan, thank you very much for your submission. Our next submitter is Brad. Brad seems to send in every single month. In fact, I think he does. And we're going to start off with the Whimsicott GX from Unbroken Bonds. Look how amazing that Mega Sobelite and Tyranitar GX looks from Unified Minds. Absolutely stunning artwork there. Keldeo GX. Latios GX. Aerodactyl GX, that's pretty cool. Almost, look, well, it is a dinosaur, I guess, but it really, really nice. Uh, Eevee from Shiny Vault. And then, of course, the Side Up Munch, the Pikachu Munch, two of those. Uh, the Mewtwo GX uh, Darth Vader Tube, really always going to be popular. Uh, Mewtwo GX from Ultra Shiny. And then we're going to end it with the Charizard Pokemon movie promo. Uh, so, Brad, as usual, thank you very much for your submission. Our next meta is Keenan. Keenan has sent away uh, a load of these W Gold Stamp Pikachus, a load of these Brox Vulpix Pikachus, W Gold Stamp, of course. Uh, you've obviously found a very, very generous eBay seller who is willing to give that up. Uh, Giovanni's Gyarados Unlimited and First Edition, really nice to see them side by side. The original and the most feared Giovanni from Gym Challenge. Then you've got the Skamori and the Steelix, two metal types from Neo Gen. The Yanma, could you imagine if that got a PSA 10? That would be some card. Uh, Amphros from Neo Revelation, again, a very low pop card. Uh, I can't remember whether it's still the most lowest pop from Neo Rev, but um, very desirable indeed. Uh, Mewtwo, Black Star Promo. Amphros from Aquapolis. Houndoom roaring at the sky there from Sky Ridge. Pichu from Nintendo World promo. Uh, even, it's even got the date, uh, so it's got the month and the year. May 2005, really nice. Uh, and then we have fourth place Raichu, third place Raichu, second place Raichu, and first place Raichu, with the gold text there embedded on the card. Um, so thank you very much, Keenan, and hopefully you get as many gems as you want. Fear not, this is Marin. Marin sent me quite a funny message earlier. Where were my cards in the first video? Uh, well, unfortunately, we have probably five parts this month, and you are in the second one, though. Here are your cards. Um, so we're going to start off with the Dark Arm Dragon. I think this is the first Yu-Gi-Oh! I think we've had more Harry Potter cards than we've had Yu-Gi-Oh! in this submission so far. Nido King from Legendary Collection. Charizard, Dark Charizard, that is first edition with the Dark Blastoise. Can't have one without the other. Where is the Dark, Dark, Dark Venusaur? Altaria, really cool gold artwork card there. Uh, Electabuzz, this is the reverse stamped uh, Dragon Frontiers. Umbreon and Espeon Prime, I'm a big fan of these. Uh, I've got them both in PSA 10. And really, if you like them, I would suggest picking them up. Collectible for the future. Dark Blastoise, first edition, Team Rocket. Empoleon, looking very intimidating. Reshiram EX, it's crazy. I really do love these old EX cards. Um, I think in PSA 10, they are too cheap. Uh, that's what I would say. Gardevoir GX from Burning Shadows and the Mashamp GX2 and the Alolan Muk GX and the Charizard GX. Congratulations on that, Marin. Uh, the Dragonite GX, the SM promo, uh, the Kingdra GX as well. I mean, obviously, we're going to see this card. The Legendary Birds Hyper Rare and then the Reshiram Gold from Phantom. It really is a Phantom, isn't it? Absolute stunning card there. Reshiram GX to go with it alongside. Rock Ruff for the Shiny Vault. Lycan Rock GX and Articuno GX. Charizard GX. Which one do you prefer? The newer one or the older one? 
I'm actually going to say the older one, I think he looks a lot more mean, aggressive. He looks like he's really about to attack you. The right one looks like you could just slap him away. Uh, anyway, that is the first stack of your cards. And uh, now we move on to those tag team promos. So you've got that Eevee and Snorlax. And you've got two, two of these Charizard GXs. When everyone's going mad about the Shiny Vault, you have two of the Burning Shadows Hyper Rare Charizards. Really well done for getting that, by the way. I mean, I didn't pull it. Sylveon GX from Guardians of Rising. Raichu GX there from Shining Legends. Incineroar GX from Guardians Rising as well. Then we move on to some older cards. So you've got your ho -Oh from Neo Rev First Edition. Your Shining Noctowl and Shining Celebi from Neo Destiny. Uh, I also understand, Marion, you are collecting Call of Legends, so you've got some Deoxys here. Uh, your Umbreon, the Holos, the Magmortar, a Shmurgle. I've actually sent a few of these off a couple of months ago, so they should be due back very soon. Palkia and Parichiru. See, I said that totally wrong, just, just uh, I accept my apologies. Hit on top. Cherin doing the peace sign for some reason with a bit of chalk. Be Anchor. I, don't, I can't tell if she's got glasses on there or... That's just her face. Uh, Kyrim EX. Clefairy. Uh, the EX Unseen Forces Reverse. Steelix, where you can hardly see him. You can just see his eye poking out there. Volplume. Strange to see this. I haven't seen this one come through ever. That Zapdos is awesome, though. This is actually my favourite card when looking through your cards. I just never have seen it uh, come through the service, and I've never really looked for it. Really nice Hollow Fall pattern. I hope you do well on that one. And the God of War to end your submission. Thank you, as always, Marin. And please go and check out Pokemon TCG EU on Instagram. Fabio is up next with some base set first edition Italian cards. You've got Clefairy, Chansey, Hitmonchan, Polyrath. Looks like you've got a base set first edition Italian booster box. Uh, Zapdos. These do look all in good condition as well, so we'll see how they go. Uh, the Venusaur is just base and limited Italian. The Blastoise as well. Then we do actually send off some non hollows uh, which I don't see very often from the foreign uh, language sets. I did have some German ones come through to tell a lie. Uh, Charizard GX, again seeing this guy everywhere, and that one. Uh, Gyarados GX, I haven't seen too many of these. I haven't seen too many of the other Raichu and the Gyarados come through, the Tim promos. I don't know if people just don't like them. Gyarados GX, Hidden Fates, Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno, Reshiram and Charizard. Uh, then we've got the Unlimited Charizard Italian. First edition Italian Raichu. I will put these together when we actually do the submission to PSA. Uh, Mewtwo Italian. Uh, the Bulbasaur first edition and the Ivysaur. Really nice. That'll go well with the Venusaur. Squirtle and Wartortle. It's like I even knew they were there. Charmander and Charmeleon. Yes, I was right again. Pikachu, Yellow Cheeks. Uh, Pokemon Breeder, I believe. And then Mewtwo GX. This card actually is quite rare and quite difficult to obtain. Uh, so congratulations on getting that, Fabio. Uh, and then we've got the Japanese and the English Champions Festival with the World Championships 2019 stamp. Fabio, thank you very much for your submission and best of luck. Next submitter is Dave, and Dave has just sent in the one card, but what a card it is. It is that Charizard GX from Shiny Vault. Uh, congratulations on the pull, mate, and hopefully you get a gem returning. Best of luck. This is Mark's submission now. Mark seems to send in every month as well. I just wanted to start off by saying big thanks for sending this in. I'd really love to get it in a gem. Uh, and anyway, by the way, off we go to Tom. Hi guys, it's Basehead Tom. I just want to give a quick thank you to Mark for sending in these awesome Radiant Collection cards uh, as a gift. Because he knows I'm collecting them uh, and he's sent them in so I can have these. And yeah, that's perfect. I'm really, really thankful. And yeah, back to Connor. So yes, Mark, we both really do appreciate what the uh, free gifts you sent in. Um, and yeah, wow. Hello. Forget that I was talking. Charizard tops transparent and that Charizard GX from Shiny Vault. Really cool to see. Mega Blastoise EX. The Charizard uh, Holofoil from Detective Pikachu. Haven't seen that yet. Um, and then we've got some really cool Pocket Monsters Anime Edition with Pichu and Pikachu playing. Uh, we've got a sealed version of the Moltres, Zapdos and Articuno. 
Jesse and James, Eiffel Foundation employee. Do you remember the one that Tom opened uh, and it was all cut up? That wasn't very cool. Uh, Charizard GX, two of those yet again. Really nice, three of those actually. Pocket Monsters, uh, number 223 Strike. So that's Cypher. Then we've got another, this is a 2003 Advanced Action Flip. Uh, so you've got the Pichu, the Pikachu, and the Raichu there. Then we move on to some Pocket Monsters, so the Zapdos, the Aerodactyl absolutely beating up Slowbro there. I really like that as an artwork, because he, he looks happy, even though he's getting beaten up. Brilliant. Um, and then Moltres again, the stained glass. Zorora, Lady from Shiny Vault, Eevee as well. I think this is going to be incredibly popular. Uh, Guzma from Shiny Vault, as are these two. Congratulations on those two, by the way. We didn't get the Cynthia in what we pulled, and we only got one Guzma. Uh, Mewtwo and Mew GX. Mewtwo looking very fed up there. Uh, for Alligator Holofall from Dragon Majesty. No, I wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest. Uh, and then a Mewtwo GX from Shiny Vault. As usual, Mark, thank you very much, and thank you for the lovely gifts. Last but not least, we have Jamie. And Jamie has sent away two Charizards from tops. We've got the Hollow Fall version to the right and there's the normal version to the left, which is really nice. And then there he is again. We've had quite a few of these in this submission. The Charizard GX from Shiny Vault. Um, again, hopefully everyone gets a gem on these. Uh, and then the Charizard EX spitting flames there. Very iconic and cool artwork. Anyway, guys, uh, that was Jamie's submission. And overall, I really hope you enjoyed this video. This is part two. Part three will be up very soon too. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell button. And go and follow our social media. Oh, and don't forget gradedgem.com. Thanks, guys.